Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños, the most unrelaxed, relaxed comedy. With a new intro, 2.0 logo, fresh episodes every two weeks, and new guests, please consider supporting us on Patreon, as it's the only way we've been able to successfully or unsuccessfully make these so far. Depending on the tier you pick, starting at five old buckaroonies a month, you can get in on our Discord, get a podcast t-shirt, get an exclusive podcast print, get on our monthly Jackbox game calls, make us read a note from you live on every episode, early access to episodes, Episodes, extended three-hour cuts, raw Zoom files, and more. Again, that's patreon.com slash pequeñopod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O-Pod. Otherwise, rate us five stars on your app so we can read your review, answer our polls and questions on Spotify for each release, enjoy this free episode, and have a terrible day. Yeah, I could hear the vet now, just a heads up. I don't know if you want to... <laughs> well, I can turn it off, but it's going to get hot in here, so... <laughs> you guys are passing out by like the 20th minute. <laughs> That's me after every episode. We get done. I'm like, can I take out these earphones and turn on the air? I was falling asleep last time at the end of it. I was like sitting here checking my phone and I was like, I'm going to go to sleep. If you're just joining us, that's how boring we are. (laughs) Our guest last episode was falling the fuck asleep. So you've got one week to sign up for the podcast, any tier. Uh, for the annual um, patron tier, and uh, you'll be put in the drawing for the Xbox that we're giving away. If you win, you have to pick them up from the jail cell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they win. They ha- they have to go pick them up. <laughs> they have to go pick you up. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> it's in Not around jail. He actually is in jail. <laughs> quotes around meetup. <laughs> oh, man. Can you imagine me in jail? I would get raped I would hope so you fast. Would. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Look at me. I'm, I'm so weak. I'm sitting in front Make of a ring laugh. light. I'm Comedian. sitting in. <laughs> they recognize me from TikTok. <laughs> you gonna put that swiffer between your ass real good, huh? <laughs> you know my grandfather made that arch. <laughs> Oh no, the prison <laughs> welding gang. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. So, oh my gosh. So I went to this movie, right? Um, okay. And I was late, but like you, when you, you, you buy a seat spot, you know, it's like you have a spot already. It's not like the olden days where it was just kind of all rush. So I, I'm in the back row obviously and i get up there and there's a couple people like in my spot so i just sit kind of like in the open spot next to them but like it was the only open spot in the back row like i wasn't it wasn't like they were the only people in that row and i sat directly next to them that would have been weird there was a whole it was the rest of it was pretty much full and i just sat in that spot right and as soon as i sit down the person that's in my seat turns and looks directly at me and is like hi and i was like Hi. <laughs> I didn't know how to react. I was like, what? I'm going to be whacking off for the rest of this movie. I hope that's okay with you. <laughs> what? Well, I couldn't tell if it was, it was so weird. I couldn't tell if she was just like, oh, so you sit next to us, huh? Out of this entire theater. A and I'm like, twist. <laughs> just a dummy. Hi. Hi. Great movie, huh? <laughs> It's Gonzo, the bird. <laughs> Is he a bird? I never knew what he was. <laughs> yeah, he's a bird. He's a, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's like a chicken. <laughs> but there's chickens in the Muppet universe. So what right, he likes one from of them. God is he? <laughs> <laughs> the devil's chicken. <laughs> I, I just thought he was like a little creature. I, I never knew Gonzo was... Yeah, he's a bird. I'm going to look it up now. Oh, fuck. (laughs) Welcome to the bonus part of the episode when we look up what what kind of animal is Gonzo. (laughs) Gonzo has been considered to be of various origins, including a frackle. What is that? Is that a demon? Like the the other show? The frackle? Like Fraggle Rock? Gonzo as the ugly, disgusting little blue creature who catches (laughs) cannonballs. (laughs) What is this article? I told you, he's, he's, there's no way he's a bird. Nah, he's a bird. He, mm. he. What birds do you know look like that? <laughs> he's got a beak. <laughs> that's 
That's not a beak. It's squishy and it dangles around. Well, because he's a puppet. That's he not put an actual beak. No on the bird puppet. has a hot dog orifice coming. He is off an his avian face. creature. He is a bird. It says they're lying to you. Gonzo Wikipedia <laughs> says he is <laughs> avian <Wikipedia>. creature. <laughs> He's not a th- he's a creature. He's not a bird. There's no way. The next question is is Gonzo a frackle? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Gonzo starts life as a snarl, the cigar box frackle. Dude, I am high. What what am I reading right now? This isn't real. There's a picture of before and after. I'm going to send it on Snapchat, but I <laughs> Dude, he looked horrifying back in the <laughs> 70s. Good lord. He looked suicidal. <laughs> I just remember the clip from whatever, however old it was, where they accidentally push something off the table and it breaks. And it's just Gonzo with this grain, and he's like, guilt! <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that clip? No. You haven't? <laughs> Dude, you would love it. It is the most iconic Muppets thing. I'm literally just going to look up guilt Gonzo and send it to you. Oh, good lord. That's horrifying. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Someone captioned that the plot of Oppenheimer in five seconds. <laughs> Guilt. Anyway, what the fuck were we talking about? Why did that? Why were we on Gonzo? Oh, prison. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain connected it before I knew. Yes. <laughs> The voice is in my head. <laughs> anyway. I don't no, know so how I... we got there. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, because I Prison said the lady Joey next Diaz. to you. The Gonzo. lady next to you. The, yeah. The, no, the lady next to you at the movie theater. I said she's oh, a ventriloquist oh. puppet. <laughs> yeah. Good Lord. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Joey Diaz in prison with Gonzo. You know, Muppets go to prison. He's a war criminal. Uh, he would be. <laughs> He seems like he has no loyalty to a country. (laughs) He's a frackle. I don't trust those in this country. (laughs) We're racist against humans. What do you think we'll do to a frackle? He gets obliterated the second he goes to Detroit. (laughs) (laughs) Just we're just smacked with a golf club so hard the feathers just (laughs) exploded. (laughs) Uh, No. Anyway, yeah. So I sat down at that movie and she turns her full head to me and is like, "Hello," and I was like, "Hi." And then, like, the movie is going, by the way. Like, it's the first five. I've missed the first five minutes. Um, So, like, it's it's not like it's the commercials. She just full-on said this at that volume as the movie's going. Oh, so out loud. Yeah, out loud. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) Welcome to the movie. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, shit. What's this? Nicole Kidman. That's who I was sitting next to. <laughs> we come to the movies. To we come drugs. to the theater <laughs> for love, magic, and opportunity. <laughs> Nicole, shut up. Nicole, shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> she gives that speech at every movie she goes to. My dad gets unreasonably angry the more he sees that. <laughs> Every time I take him to a movie and she comes up, he's like, ah, (laughs) well, you know, it's coming. Oh, yeah. They banned a video of mine for hate speech. Did I say that? What did you say? Four years of making videos. Instagram has never taken down any videos of mine. The last review I had on a video was a year ago and they like gave it back to me because it's obviously it was fine. Uh, yeah, no, the guy has stitched in the video said the word cunt, and apparently that must have pissed off some fucking... Someone clutched their pearls. So the Australian <laughs> group chat I'm in was laughing at me, because uh, their side of TikTok, every single it's, video yeah, says the cunt. Say so, uh, yeah, I'm not monetized anymore on Instagram. That's the one platform that oh, I was making money from. They yeah. cut your monetization? Yep. I made $400 last month from one month of Instagram. That's how good my profile was doing. Gone. That's that's cool. So, oh, dude, I'm sorry. I hate social media. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, my TikTok yesterday stopped at 800 views. <laughs> I have 400,000 followers, and You're I had like 800? 800 views. Oh yeah, I think now it's at like 1,200. Come on, dude. Like, I'm not saying they need. Here's the deal. I'm not saying there's a lot of people out there that are like, my video should go viral. Like, that's not what I'm saying. But my worst video, I should be able to just belch. 
and get 5k easy. You know what I mean? Like at this point, my worst video should not be getting 800 views. Oh my god! Yikes. Anyway, I'm still not even done with the the movie theater story. So that yeah. Anyway, that that woman said hello. <laughs> The, the movie is going. Two minutes uh-huh. later, she's using my cup holder. So, I, I mean, which isn't a big problem. I just put my stuff on the other side. But I was she... going to ask, what, which one is considered yours? Because I always wonder when I sit down. I never know if it's the left one or the right one. Is, well, these are nice theaters, so each chair has its own... Um, oh, th- yeah, oh so she that's was using worse. both hers and mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like even have food drinks. in it. It was just her hand. She just stuck her hand in it. It's my hand holder. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm not alone. <laughs> Movie. <laughs> what? I was sitting next to the doll from the doll from Saw. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the movie. <laughs> Would you like? And then she asks me. <coughs> She asks me, well, the movie's going. We don't know each other. It's dark, so there's no way. It's not, it's not like she recognizes me from something, right? Like, there's no way she could see me. But she takes the M&Ms out of the cup holder. That's my cup holder that she's using. And goes, you want some M&Ms? And I'm like, no. <laughs> she puts them back in the cup holder that's mine. And continues she watching the movie. She pours them in the cup holder. <laughs> it's like a candy dish. <laughs> That looks like the only thing this would ever be for is candy. I'll feed it to you. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> With my claw hand. <laughs> hey, <there> we... <laughs> we come to this place for magic. <laughs> Nicole. She, offer, she offers you peanuts, and as you're eating them, you look over, and she doesn't have peanuts. She just has, like, M&Ms with peanuts in them. <laughs> <laughs> She just has a jar of <laughs> testicles. <laughs> You're like, oh! <laughs> yeah. Yucky! <laughs> and then there is, like, someone is dying in the movie. Spoiler alert. Someone is dying in the movie. And she leans forward. Or I'm going to show you what this is like from my perspective. So... When you're when you're in a movie, your your peripherals. You can look kind at of... who's sitting next to you. <laughs> so I'm looking at her. <laughs> she gets in. She stands up, gets in front of me, and points at the screen. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Get out of the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> if someone did that at the movies, I'd, I'd start laughing. I'd get up I and leave. Be mad. No, I'd, I'd be so laughing. scared. I'd, ho- I'd holler, dude. I'd be so scared. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be you soon. <laughs> what? <laughs> you in the parking lot in 14 minutes? <laughs> what? <laughs> My hands in your guts. My hands in your guts. What? I look down. There. Whoa! <laughs> your bowels are on the floor. <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm disemboweled. <laughs> I need those. <laughs> Start wiping off my lower intestine. Anyway, so this person on screen is dying, and she leans forward, turns directly to me, and goes, "That's not fair." <laughs> what and is then, going on, dude? But because I could, it wasn't like she was looking at the screen and saying this. Because she was looking directly at me and saying this, I I turned because I didn't know if I was doing something wrong. I didn't know if she was mad at me. <laughs> I, I didn't, Watching the movie? How dare you? And this is what happens when I, someone talks to a traumatized person in public. I'm like, is it my fault that he died in the movie? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't kill him, I promise. But she, so I turned to her and I'm like, huh? And she just goes, oh, sorry. And starts laughing with her friend. And I was like... What is going on? I was it's so, so bizarre. fucking confused. And there were a couple other times, like nothing was even happening on the screen. I could just feel she was turned directly looking at me. I, Dude, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> You're look at ugly. Me so I can make a comment. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> She's waiting to make eye contact so she could talk more about the movie. <laughs> I don't <Yeah>. like him. <laughs> oh, oh, and someone got up like to go to the bathroom or something like in our row and was like, excuse me, and, and left. And she was like, and I was like, what? And, and I, I had to ask her to repeat it three times because I couldn't fucking hear what she was saying. She was loud. I just couldn't hear what she said. 
She was a minion. <laughs> Ew. I'm going to what kill are you. you. Saying? <laughs> That's you. If you don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, so if you leave us a review on uh, Apple Podcasts or uh, comments on our Spotify episodes, um, we will read them. Um, so five star from Apple Podcasts, 912. We may have already read this one. The autism has reached me. Help the autism has reached me and is coming for me. I am under my bed and the screaming laughing lady let out a terrifying screech and the forehead man is stalking me and the Mexican is nearby. Please help. Love the show. Infinity out of 10, better than any of the others. Love you, Daniel. Say my name. No balls. Do it. <laughs> What's his name? All right. I don't know. Does it say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I know you? <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> oh, we have a review on 9-11. Very funny podcast. Love to listen to it. I started listening to this during the summer of 2021 through TikTok, and I don't regret watching all the TikToks all the time. Oh, that's nice. That's wholesome one. Oh. Oh, oh, hey, fun fact. So this uh, this last episode we had, 50, 51, was the most episodes we ever had in one week from a new episode. We hit oh, like well. 350, I think, in one week. Just downloads, not even streams. And that's not oh, counting. I think the YouTube was up to f- 400 or something, 400, 500 in the first week. Oh, wow. So, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm sure it's going to plateau now because I can't do anything else to spread the word about this without it being annoying. So this is by word of mouth, guys. Go go tell your friends that you don't have to listen to our <laughs> podcast. Please, I beg. <laughs> Please. Nick needs to get paid for something. Uh, review from Fern a day ago on Spotify. I have something important to say to Juliana. Bingle, pingle, dingle, do. Nice. She's not here, so I'll tell her. Great. Whenever I hear from her, you in a wasted month. it. <laughs> Next one. This episode made me feel the same way I feel when I don't go to sleep for three days. I'm giggling so hard. What is Daniel yapping about? <laughs> Jay, Jay says I listened to this and had a seizure a day after, so I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that that sounds real because he said a day after. If it was fake, I feel like he would have just said I had a seizure right after or something. I feel like that's oh real. God, I'm sorry. Good. Jeez. Our audience is 80 years old. I listened to this and had a seizure. My head gave out. <laughs> I have to get surgery because of you. You boop, boop. The slurs. Hey, hey, hey. Easy. Uh, love the podcast, guys, and I, I will you with this poop, poop, pee, pee. All right. Well, good to know oh, our fans okay. can't spell. <laughs> Sorry. You look like the bozo now. <laughs> Have you heard of our Lord and Savior, Jim Pickens, is the next one. Uh, the Geek Lord okay. says, aside from the fact that I look like a meth head that took copious amounts of every drug imaginable when I listened to this, I have been snickering in class and trying not to cry from laughter. Good episodes. I'm glad that we're disrupting schools everywhere, apparently. <laughs> Show us some video or actually go through and disrupt it. I want a video from the principal's office. Uh, Dragon the Hero says, IDK, if you guys have heard of this by the time you read this, but Stephen King's wife almost divorced him because he had an obsession with Mambo number five. <laughs> Mambo number five. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, next one. <laughs> hey there, Mr. Mr. Fingle here, back with another hit single. I've been gone for a while because I fell into a hole that leads to a tiny planet inside Earth, and I dueled the pterodactyl to get my phone back. Oh, you're on drugs. <laughs> uh, the next review is from <laughs> Your Ass Crack, kitten emoji. You guys should all react to three Kevin Leonardo Nair videos. Oh, you guys should react to all three Kevin oh, Leonardo no. Nair videos. I don't know who that is, but when you said Nair, I feel like it's the dude talking it's, about his asshole, it's isn't the, it? Yep. I've gotten 636,000 views the last 30 days on my YouTube. I can't get monetized. Yet the butthole <laughs> is monetized. I hate everything. It sucks. Why can't any of us just make a little bit of money from this? So stupid. I got an email from a dating app wanting me to make an ad for them. And now I'm like, I think, I guess I should. I, not like anything else is fucking helping me. <laughs> Uh, Catalyst says, uh, she's a podcast patron, uh, casually spat Red Bull all over my counter. Sticky, sticky, sticky. (laughs) Ah, all right. (laughs) Last one from Jared. Drunky put, (laughs) drunky put my family in a mass grave and left me legless. That stupid drunk monkey bastard. Uh, how's it going, Nick? It's, uh, we're alive. All right. Well, 
You and all your personalities. I'm not Daniel. I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna bring up. Did you have any topics that you wanted to talk about? Uh, I got confused for a, a Marshall's worker. That's it. That's the only <laughs> thing that's happened. Like Marshall's a store? Yeah, I was wearing a lanyard, and the guy. I thought you meant like a U.S. Social Marshall. anxiety. <laughs> yeah, no, not that. Um, no, Keeping I can't. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sorry. I was I was walking through Marshall's, and this guy kept walking by me, and he would go, <sighs> like every time I walked by, and I was, <laughs> at first I heard it, and I'm like, well, that was bizarre, and then he walked by again, and he would go. <clears throat> And he was like, what is, what is that? And then finally he mustered up the courage and he's like, do you work here? And I was like, Are you oh no, sorry. <laughs> Are you Mr. Marshall himself? So he asked me and I go, oh no, I'm sorry, I don't work here. And he goes, okay. And they ran out. <laughs> he ran out the building so fast. He's wearing like a bomb vest. He's like, oh, bad. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> wrong guy, wrong guy. This isn't him. He was on a hit, yeah. Wrong guy, wrong. This is not the right Marshall. This is not Mr. Marshall, I repeat. He works at the Under Armour store and he's just mad all the shirts are on clearance over at Marshall's. <laughs> he says his name is TJ, TJ Max. This is Mr. <laughs> Nike here to see Mr. Marshall. <laughs> Why are our shoes so low here? <laughs> <laughs> Why are the anti platforms doing so well here? Just did it. <laughs> no, I got, I didn't get confused for anybody, but I was in the gym the other day. And I was using like the bench press machine and I realized the dude at the bench next to me was just staring at me, like not like glancing. I mean, he just was like leaned in staring and I was like, oh, <laughs> you got recognized at Schnucks. Yeah. Okay. That's another there. one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And I was like, hey, can I, can I help That's you? That's not and a he... real place. <laughs> <laughs> the gym? <laughs> we went to Bibley's the other night. <laughs> like what? <laughs> You have never heard of Schnooks? Yeah, what? You live in the Midwest. You're tweaking, dude. <laughs> that is true. I know all about that. No, so I was in I was in the gym and the dude was staring at me and I was like, Can I help and you? You were tweaking. And... <laughs> so I was tweaking at the gym. <laughs> I was lifting weights high. Very high. I'm meth <laughs> scratching every orifice of skin off my body. My teeth are itchy. <laughs> Why is my hair tingling anyway? So he was looking at me and he was like, oh, no, I'm just watching for form because I don't know how to use the machine. I want to see how you use it. And that's the way I'm going to use it. And so then He's I got, got super direction. nervous. <laughs> that's so, crazy. so then I used the worst form I, I possibly form, could. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, all that form. That Marshall's guy that's going. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Huh? Do, do you work here at the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, literally, it's a bench machine. Like, you just grab the handles and it push it. It was a bench machine, dude. It was what? It was a bench machine? Yeah, yeah. It was not a difficult you just, one. You're just lifting dumbbells. I'm looking at you to see Let's how you did that. Form. Do it with your ass. Clutch real good. <laughs> I mean, I think he was just, because it's the first time he'd use it, he wanted to make sure he was, like, because you have to, if you if the chair isn't adjusted the right way, you can kind of fuck yourself up. I don't know. But I got super, like, anxious, because I was like, I don't know if I'm using the right form on this. Because <laughs> I didn't want him to be like, I didn't Stop want him to. looking. <laughs> <laughs> there was no one there. <laughs> and then when I left, they told me we went closed. <laughs> the security camera kept moving. <laughs> And then I was kicked out of Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> and then they arrested me in the parking garage. <laughs> For urinating For... on a person. <laughs> <laughs> For lifting up women. <laughs> I hit a cop. <laughs> <laughs> With the car and physically. <laughs> so. <laughs> and my gun. <laughs> <laughs> my bullet <The> hit <laughs> his face. <laughs> he ran into my bullet. <laughs> killed <laughs> his family can't make it without his pay <laughs> so dumb uh, <laughs> oh, no. oh the drug cartel has no one else in the force <laughs> <laughs> he was the last one now i'm on a list <laughs> he was the last pig now i'm wanted by the cops and the cartel 
That's not how you use clothes. What he do? <laughs> the jury's like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? <laughs> he is insane. Why is he scratching his teeth? <laughs> No, anyway, so I was just imagining, I was just imagining, I'm like, yeah, like this. And he's like, oh, okay. He gets on after me and then just dislocates his fucking shoulder. Like, I was imagining being liable for that. No, that didn't actually happen. I was just imagining. Oh! oh. <laughs> I was imagining. I was like, dude, how bad was your form? <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna... <laughs> so you're gonna press it with your... <laughs> you're gonna kick the bar with your feet every... It's called chest press. You press with your chest. <laughs> He breaks he his fucking up ribs. All right here. <laughs> I can hear just the ribs <laughs> cracking in. My heart, <laughs> my collapsed lung. I'm like, can you keep it down? <laughs> Quit watching me, dude. <laughs> dude, just breathe. <laughs> just breathe. It's not that hard, okay? Lift with your knees. <laughs> anyway. So, I, this guy, if he ever finds out who I am and he's listening to this, I'm sorry that I didn't have good form on that. You don't, You probably <laughs> did. You didn't complain. I'm sorry he didn't leave his number for you. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I write the number on the bench. <laughs> in, sweat. in sweat. <laughs> in ball sweat. <laughs> like, as he's watching me, I'm like, watch. I get up, and I like wipe my hand in the seat, and then start writing. <laughs> It's already there when you sit up. <laughs> He's like, the shape of your ass. <laughs> Did you see? There was a video on TikTok of that. Like, some people were stitching it, saying how bad it was. What? It's just this what? thirst trap where this dude, it's like, you know, the, those, that kind of music. And this dude gets up from a, like a bench at the gym and it zooms in on his ball sweat from his shorts. <laughs> That's the video. Is that supposed to be? Is it supposed to be hot? I'm confused. Well, he clearly is it was very a hot. Nike video. <laughs> Just do it. Leave some ball sweat for the next guy. Just leave a little. <laughs> leave Just some cum. <laughs> Just a little. I wanted to stitch it with like a real like me in the gym, like the real reaction of what you would do. Pissing on this. <laughs> I've left more. <laughs> no, I was thinking of stitching it, and just being like, like in the gym, being like. Hey, you have some ball sweat over here. <laughs> just like what any actual person would do. And like, ah, wipe, wipe that off. Uh, wipe that ball sweat up off the chair, you <laughs> ugly you know ass shit bag. Yeah, thing. no. He left it. You know he just walked away. That's after fun. That. The cameraman, as soon as he cut, he's like shaking. <laughs> as soon as he cuts, he just licks it up I'm off thirsty. the chair. <laughs> thirsty the clown. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, well, this is why I, don't... <laughs> I didn't want to like cough on the thing. Sorry. She's like, I'm so tired. I have to like cough to stay awake. <laughs> to lift myself up. <laughs> oh, oh, good God. <laughs> oh, asthma. Just right on the floor. <laughs> Can you not hock loogies if you have asthma? No. Really? Yeah, no, we don't have any spit. Nice. <laughs> That's why you can't. What really... are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking to you. What? Talking spit. Oh boy. If if you have asthma, you. I'm just have spit. kidding. I told. Did you not hear me? Say Why that? would yeah. you say that? That's a separate problem. The non-spit thing. <laughs> I don't think that's connected. I no. think your mouth is wet. <laughs> this is a Doctor House episode. <laughs> well, the reason you don't have any uh, spit in your mouth is because <laughs> you're asthmatic. <laughs> Sorry, this turned into Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Shapiro, MD. <laughs> uh, the reason uh, you have cancer uh, and your kid's dying uh, is because you're liberal. Uh. <laughs> your sister is not hot enough. <laughs> not mine, you see. <laughs> your sister's tits are uh, uh, big enough, so you're gonna die. Uh, this is a waste of space. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he calls the black guy on his team a slur. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. You can't do that anymore. Benji. <laughs> Can you imagine him lecturing people on his health with his caterpillar lips just hanging out? Ugh. It's just sinking lower the more he's talking to them. It starts crawling around his face like just this mass. <laughs> this <laughs> filler is just moving. <laughs> <laughs> you're high. You're just watching his lips like swim around his face. You're like, this is Jesus. disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> you want to 
Sumatra şimazı üzerinde. All right. Anyway, so yeah, I got recognized as schnucks. <laughs> Which is isn't a real place. <laughs> it's not. It's you not. don't know what a schnooks is? I'm, that doesn't sound real. Do you real. really not know? It's. Oh, I'm shaking really not funny. knowing about schnooks. I, what, what, I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> well, there's a there was a skit about St. Louis on Saturday Night Live. I just like really? squeaked my nose when I talked, but um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. It was like halfway between a snort and a squeak. It's super weird. <laughs> Sneak, yeah, you know, okay, never mind. Don't even try. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> bumps of coke. <laughs> she thought she was slick. So anyway. <laughs> She's really trying to stay awake. <laughs> I last time. Sorry, I have to sneeze real quick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> she has a nosebleed mid-sentence. <laughs> She's just licking it up, turning her head sideways. <laughs> Sorry, it's really dry in here. <laughs> Because I'm asthmatic, it happens. Because yeah, I have no spit. <laughs> Sometimes when I see this white powder, I have to sniff it up. It helps the asthma. I can't swallow it. <laughs> so Go on, tell us about your, your schnooks. It's a grocery oh, store. There was that, Show me that oh, schnooks. There's, there's a skit. I Just really quick, I have to tell okay. you this. There's a skit about St. Louis on SNL, and Tina Fey was in it. And she pronounced it schnucks. <laughs> and what? So and like, people like, got mad? No, like they literally did not know. Like they thought that was how it was pronounced. Like everybody, <laughs> nobody corrected her. It's in like Bloomington Normal and stuff though, which isn't that far no it's south way. of you. What yeah. is that? Blono? <laughs> you don't know Bloomington? <laughs> Blono's? Blippy and Glockdor? You don't know that? You don't dude? know Blimpy Dimpy? <laughs> Schnick Snork? You don't know that, dude? <laughs> You don't know the Stork store? You don't know Bloomington, <laughs> Illinois? Why'd you call it Blodo? You got Blodo? really qu- Bloomington normal, Blodo. People call it that because mm-hmm. they're dumb, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <That's so funny. laughs> Actually, my old roommate used to call it that, and she is in law school right now, so you can call her and tell her she's dumb. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like an idiot. <laughs> Let's call her up right now. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good hey, never moron. Done a, we've never done a call on the episode. Let's call a lawyer. <laughs> She's in law school. She's not a lawyer. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, brother. <laughs> I thought you were making the sound like the guy at Marshall's. Uh-huh. <laughs> more. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> Is she in debt? Uh-huh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just I guess it's a, I guess it's a Midwestern uh, like. No, it's not. Okay, I, don't know I guess about it's it. a Southern Illinois and St. Yep. Louis. What state are you from? Depression. Indiana. I was born in Illinois and then I moved to Indiana. What is that? Excuse me. Depression. <laughs> oh, we heard the joke. No, I was born in Illinois and then I moved to Indiana. Oh yeah, we got it. It's a depression. It's not gonna work the third time. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Over. No, no, no. Oh, I know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Indiana in a couple weeks. Indiana. 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 Uh, Indiana. What are you going to do yes. without a schnooks around? No, I'm going to go see a Colts game. Oh. I don't even like the Colts. Ooh. <laughs> St. Louis. Everybody loves it here. No. It, it used to, <laughs> it's so funny. It I used to be St. something West. back in the day. You know, like in the 1800s. Like it used to be some kind of hub. That's where it should have stayed. <laughs> Well, like, so we were watching the new uh, uh, Agatha Christie mystery movie, you know, with the uh, Hercule Poirot, that guy. No one else knows this movie is out. No. Anyway, so this is back in the 1800s, and the people in there are oh, sorry, like... Sorry, I don't remember that part back. <laughs> uh, I wasn't born yet. I was too little. <laughs> and there were a couple people in the movie that were like, were... <laughs> shut up. There Where were, were you when Agatha Christie's? <laughs> Where were you when Jack the Ripper came through town? <laughs> uh, don't you remember that? No. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we so we're watching this movie in downtown St. Louis, like theaters filled, and the people in the movie are like, "We're running away to America," and they're like, "What going state?" To <laughs> <laughs> and like, "Where are you going to?" And they were like, "We're going to St. Louis," and everyone in theater. Burst out laughing. That's how much everyone loves it here. <laughs> everyone was just like, <laughs> they're going to die. <laughs> Thanks for dampening the mood. <laughs> uh, anyway.
anyway, sorry the government lost here. a fighter jet. <laughs> you moved here. Sorry you hate here. <laughs> no, so I got recognized at the Schnooks. That was that was the, that was it. That was the whole story. We were at the checkout line. I'm getting stag. We were at the checkout line <laughs> buying beer for old people. Beer for old people. <laughs> And that's you guys the worst are saying place to words that exist. <laughs> this, yeah, it was none the of worst place. Do you know the... what stag is? No, no one knows what stag is. What outside. the fuck? We're like no. stag at schnooks no, no, for no, the no, old no, no, people. No, 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 what no. are you saying, stag dude? Stag is definitely like a national thing. In your head, maybe, but not over <laughs> here, dude. It's it like... was famous in the 1800s. Yeah, here. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Well, it's an old man's piss, fermented for 1,600 <laughs> years. Basically, like, yeah, what? that's what it is. What he keeps thing? adding to it every year, his genealogy. Just like, it's a whole family. It was his grandfather's, then his father's. <laughs> his whole family's piss. It's really nice. It feels it's all connected. Cleans out the colon. <laughs> <laughs> we all have autoimmune diseases here. <laughs> yeah, because you're drinking stag, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't. Even the people where stag is available don't your like stag. Drink it? <laughs> no. No, my parents. Somewhere in your family, someone had to pick up a bottle of stag. <laughs> like the tagline. Better. Someone somewhere had to have one, right? Going stag. <laughs> you know, someone. That, this whole thing is a stag ad now. Uh, it's the cheapest beer that actually does taste like piss. Anyway. So, we're buying beer. You're buying it what? Everybody who drinks it staggers into the bar. <laughs> we're, so, I'm buying beer at Schnooks for all the old people at the <laughs> helping run. So, I have a cart full of just different kinds of beer. And then this guy comes up, the cashier comes up, and he's like, are you from, like, the internet? And I was like, uh, maybe. And he was like, yeah, you're from TikTok. You do the, 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 the whatever. You can't afford any better, chump? <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, dude? <laughs> At least drink a twist of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it was this nice moment where he was like, oh, cool. And we were like, we shook hands and he was like, yeah, cool. Nice to meet you. Have a great day. And then as soon after I walked away, uh, I broke the scanner <laughs> on the scanning thing because it wouldn't scan any of the beer I had. So I had to call him back over and be like, hey, Alex, um, the scanner doesn't work, and then he had to like fix it. But it was just like it, it was funny that right after we had this nice moment, he was like, <laughs> and then he started uh, washing his scan so he could see your form. <laughs> <laughs> huh? He washed your scan so he could see your form. So you just oh, form. got it. And then I made the Marshalls guy annoying. R slash whoosh. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Verbally saying that is the nastiest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Real whoosh, am I right? <laughs> I'm a redditor. <laughs> when I was training today, the she kept saying backslash for a forward slash, and I wanted to say something so fucking bad that I like, wasn't gonna correct. Do you use Reddit? <laughs> Ellie's like, so I got fired. <laughs> You're not getting the referral fee. <laughs> Ah, R slash, I'm the main character. <laughs> like, what? I got R slash, Schnooks is popping this time of day. <laughs> I got wasted at work on Friday. It was my last day at my last job. Yeah. What was your job? I was a receptionist and an admin assistant. And you're getting shwasted. Why? Shwasted. <laughs> Me and my supervisor got drunk together. <laughs> <laughs> we went and got a bottle of tequila <laughs> and these 20. They're like, 25 you do this and you're like. <laughs> Can you, can you answer the phone? <laughs> so she, she answered the phone at one point, and after she was done, she was like, how drunk did I sound? Because the guy calls, oh, and good. she goes, is this oh. Ted? <laughs> Ted! Screaming. I miss you so much. We have snowblowers or something. We have, you have Blow snowers. You want if some you blow? blow? We got blow. <laughs> I'm on so much of it right now. <laughs> I just saw the devil. <laughs> <laughs> this place that she used to work was terrible. She just randomly sent me a picture of it on Google Maps one day and said, look, the handicapped people can't get in anywhere because oh, yeah, there's no handicapped we entrance. Only stairs. It's just only it stairs. It's like it's designed purposefully for that. Use your legs. You're faking it. <laughs> And all this time, she never walk, thought bitch. she never thought to break her legs to not go into work. Lazy. Honestly, yeah, what? dude. No, they would have absolutely made me crawl. Like, you know my work. You've heard the stories. This podcast is sponsored no. by United Airlines. We make handicapped people crawl. 
or Delta, whichever one it is. Have you seen Probably all the Delta, of to that? be honest. Can you, can you, ima- I just cannot imagine how it gets to the point of them crawling out of the plane. I, how do you work for an airline and watch that happen? Stop laughing, Nick. I'm missing something. <laughs> no, you what? didn't know this is an actual thing. No. <laughs> yeah, so there's, it's like a thing with a bunch of airlines that they don't provide like wheelchairs like for people to get out like on time. Like they just forget or they don't give a shit. Oh. So then like they purposefully crawl out of the plane to make like a statement because the airlines are horrible. And everyone obviously is like, holy fucking shit. Pull out your phone least- now. <laughs> <laughs> Make a make a fail noise sound effect How? as I'm crawling. <laughs> so you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to be logical here. <laughs> Excuse me. Logically, you shouldn't be crawling well, across no, the floor. Well, no, I'm saying so. They're wanting they're wanting to get like the disabled people off first, right? No, they do it last. Right, but they're upset because it's not first. No, no, no. Like even no. when they're the last people on the plane, they're like, "You're gonna wait 20 more minutes till we find oh, a wheelchair." Oh, <laughs> I thought these people were just expecting them to like. Excuse me, budget wheelchair. There are like no. twenty people all getting their carry on from the like. And logistically, that would oh. make sense. Allie's like these assholes. The wheels touch the ground and they just throw themselves forward and start going. Me first. <laughs> <laughs> like a demon. <laughs> Like Evil Dead. <laughs> Just at the speed of light. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those those really grainy videos you see that's like fast forwarded like way too fast. It's like Scooby Doo sounds. That's terrible. As someone a comment. Oh, speaking of Juliana, a comment that someone left on a video of her saying that if she had magic, she would commit terrorist acts. The comment on that video was, I hate having crushes on insane people. (laughs) (laughs) So I just wanted to share that even though Juliana will never listen to this. I thought that comment was hilarious, so I pinned it. (laughs) Next topic. Yeah, the government lost a jet. Have you heard that story yet? Yeah, and they're telling you to go find it. it... Okay, but Malaysia also lost a jet, so... Yeah, but they lose shit all the time. This was like a fighter jet. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the plane left. I don't know where ah, that one shit. went. Ah, shit. leave that fucking plane. <laughs> they look on the runway. It's just wheels standing up. They're like, ah. Oh. I gotta retrace my steps. Here, boy. <laughs> here, boy. <laughs> <please, laughs> <please. laughs> me when the plane's doing this. <laughs> I hate that video so much. It's so unnerving. Well, I'm just uh, why? A plane doesn't move like that. What do you mean, why? It <laughs> does when I'm high. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Airplane? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's my favorite. Oh man, movie. I'm great sure movie. That's how it moves. <laughs> <laughs> great movie. Uh, yeah, no. So the story on that that was, I, it still feels fake. They apparently built the stealthiest jet ever. Coined to that, that's I'm paraphrasing. So stealthy that it disappeared. <laughs> so stealthy that the dude jumped out of it and they lost it. It snuck away. They literally they're like, said that. They're they even s- reporting like they haven't seen it crash anywhere, right? Yeah, they didn't even know if it crashed. Like I was like, so I it's think still you- just flying. Up <laughs> yeah. Here. No, I'm not even joking. So here was the full story. Not At least day, is- Amelia Earhart. <laughs> <laughs> Except no crabs this time. Am I right? So anyway, she the- had crabs. Mm, well, I mean, yeah, 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 okay. Fine. <laughs> no, no, you're white. <laughs> no, she was eaten by crabs. Was the it was the joke? She was eaten by crabs. Yeah, that's the assumption. I see that meme a lot. So, <laughs> what? Did you just go to school? <laughs> like the caption is like the memes that ate or the crabs that ate. Why Amelia is that Earhart? less believable <laughs> than that Amelia Earhart had crabs? <laughs> <laughs> she may, she may have. She had crabs, and she was eaten by the same crabs that she had. <laughs> Real nasty. <laughs> What a nasty woman she was. They got hungry. What a disgusting tramp. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we keep going off the story. Sorry. So they they built a two almost a what was it? They say two billion dollars. Did I have that right? Two billion dollar jet. Some, yeah, something like that. <laughs> it was either two hundred thousand or two billion. I don't remember. So about two dollars. <laughs> But so the, the the most expensive fighter jet ever made was supposed to be the stealthiest whatever, and they don't, I guess they don't know why he, eja- I said ejaculated, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't That's know why, why they either. can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. The pilot was just too busy. <laughs> the stealthiest That's why he jumped off. 
That's the only way we can track it. The plane's invisible, so look for flying cum. <laughs> anyway, so he jumped. He, he jumped. They don't know why he ejected, but yeah, they said it was on autopilot when he ejected. So it's just this stealthy plane continuing to fly. So they, I mean, at this point, it's crashed. Like since they reported Are we sure? it, I'm, but, well, it probably but, ran out of fuel. But at the sure. point, that, yeah, no. it ran out of. <laughs> <laughs> and they tell you that they're like, but what if it did? Fuel? <laughs> <laughs> like the reporters are like, so when's it run out of fuel? They're like, never. What? <laughs> like, Solar powered. What, it's also what do you mean never? By an Xbox controller, and <laughs> when it runs out of oxygen, you're done. <laughs> the same controller for it was in the submarine that crashed, so we're a little lost for words here. <laughs> they were controlling <laughs> it from under the ocean. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> you really that's need to super be super stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never see the plane or me. <laughs> Everybody died, so now no one will even know about it. Uh, really quick, yeah. I don't mean to bring up the submarine again, but did you see the pictures of the wreck? No, but I made pancakes for dinner. I think I can imagine. <laughs> Not the bodies! <laughs> <laughs> the, there were no bodies left. There were, like, uh. pictures of, like, the whole thing obliterated, and you could see the controller, like, right, dug <laughs> right oh, in the sand. Yeah, I saw that. I did see that. <laughs> Survive, isn't that thirty dollar Logitech controller? Somebody grab that with like a robot arm, and they're gonna pawn it off somewhere for like a gazillion dollars. At the end of the world, world, we're all gonna be gone, and it's just gonna be Logitech controllers roaming the earth. So they, yeah, they literally messaged the public, and they were like, "If you've seen it, tell us." <laughs> Where was it? The sky. Okay, thank you. We see planes all the time. Where'd you see it? They're putting up flyers on every stop. Up You'll there. never believe where I saw it. The sky. Holy fuck. <laughs> Call the government. I just, like, well, yeah, where do they think we're going to see it? Like, from the ground, we can't tell it's the stealth jet. Like, we're looking up at an empty sky. We're like, I think I see where it. Where are you? On the ground. <laughs> We just like, see it in the sky. We know the plane is underground, <laughs> so if you see it, let us know. Just so people, so the memes were just hysterical because it was just like it was like empty, like it was just like singular jet wheels on the street, and they were like found it. <laughs> <laughs> people were putting up like missing cat signs That's with like a jet. Every yeah, it's it's just I cannot believe this is actually a thing. Like. That means you're putting food out on the back porch for it in case it gets hungry. <laughs> Little puddles of jet fuel. <laughs> I mean, does that does does that mean like somebody in the government like assaulted someone and they were like, "Quick, let's cover for oh, it." What? Like, no, you know the the ongoing joke of like they announce weird alien shit when oh, yeah, something the, bad happens. Also, in the government. that that's what happened. Did you see the meme of that alien? Where Wait, what happened? happened? <laughs> They announced Sorry. aliens in Mexico. I thought, <laughs> did you not a see long that? Time ago? Yeah, I know. No. I did see that. Yeah. Uh, yeah they, they had like a congressional hearing. Yeah, wasn't that a, it was like, a long what, last time week? ago? <laughs> yeah, no. and then they opened like Lego alien. Wasn't that like two months ago? <laughs> <laughs> did you see the no, bodies that, that they showed up? Yeah, off? and that's where there was a meme that someone made it cake. <laughs> That's actually how they grow over in like planet urethra or whatever it is. <laughs> urethra? I don't know what they call it. You mean there. Uranus? <laughs> no, you said what I said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, urethra. <laughs> I'm confident with what I said. <laughs> I went to public school. Cake. <laughs> I just thought it's so funny they unseriously uncovered those bodies in the video. It, woof. Unseriously? Like they laughed like the killer of this shit. <laughs> look. <laughs> look how stupid look. they look. <laughs> he just he grabs the alien's nipples. He's like, what? That would be no funny balls. if he was alive. <laughs> honk, honk. Explodes immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Not so funny anymore, huh? <laughs> the Mexican government's just gone after that. <laughs> Mexico explodes. <laughs> 
you Google the map, it's just deleted. You're like, <laughs> Mexico? Ay, Dios mío. Where is Saw 10 going to be now? <laughs> John deletes Mexico. <laughs> I, did you know that the bear trap they used in that first movie was real? <laughs> what? what in Saw, the movie. <laughs> Sorry. Why did you say Saw? I saw, saw the movie Saw. New Mexico. Sorry. But yeah, back to Mexico, which we talked about from the plane. <laughs> we are really off topic. Uh, no, we so the bear the trap is real? Or? Yeah, but it was the, Jesus. the reverse bear trap they built was real. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were imitating her with the reverse dude? bear trap. I was like, what are you doing? She's like laughing over breathing. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, can't, I laugh hard, I can't breathe. Yeah, because she's asthmatic. Remember, she doesn't have any spit. <laughs> yeah, she's got no spit, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm hurting. Like, you're going to hurt me. <laughs> I'm hurt. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, could have made that look real, too. Yeah, you ready? Like, Three. Also uh, delayed, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's I we're de- we're delayed from each other. It's like <laughs> three seconds later. I actually punched my hair. Not your face, and though. I can feel it because I was fucking cracked. Oh, speaking of Xbox controllers. No, put uh, it away. Get it correct. Oh, wait, what did I say? You said Xbox controllers. It was a Logitech controller. Let's get one thing straight, buddy. Go on. No, 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 no. Say the spiel. Oh, okay. <laughs> You said stop. I yeah, didn't you did. Stop. You told him to stop. <laughs> so, it was a joke. <laughs> when you tell traumatized people to stop, they think you mean breathing. So you have to specify. So, we're, guys, we're going to end the episode here. <laughs> so we're giving away an Xbox to a, a, a random patron that we draw out of a bowl. Um, and if you, it's, you have to sign up for an annual membership, any of the, why is that funny? It's so, it's so dull. We're going to draw it out We're of a plane. A dude out of a bowl. Like, it's not like all I'm going to pull a do. name off a plate. <laughs> <laughs> and that person will have gaming. <laughs> so if you sign up, okay, you want to be a little more enthusiastic. So if you sign up for an annual <laughs> Patreon membership, sing something. <laughs> sing. No, no, no. So if you sign up no. for an annual Patreon membership, any of the tiers, you'll get in an entry. If you sign up for the All $5, you, you get one entry. The $10, two entry. The 15 is four. And so on and so forth. My open casket has an Xbox on top of me. <laughs> You're holding it. It's just the Xbox. <laughs> With that smile on my face, like eyes rolled back, just. <laughs> he always loved that thing. Is he okay? <laughs> he had to make the drawing he anyway. Have a disc player, but <laughs> he should have used the Logitech. Yeah, no disc player, no no radio <laughs> on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> so that's disappointing. <laughs> Speaking of people being so depressed, they jumped out of planes. Um, I saw an article today. Today. That Barbie was originally supposed to be headed by Amy Schumer. Yeah, that's bullshit. Did you know that? She said that herself. Did she, I don't is that real, that. or she, she said herself? I don't believe it. Then yeah, I don't believe that. She said it herself that she was thought to be Barbie first, and that they decided to go with Margot Robbie instead. Which like, I uh, it's not like you Margot know. Margot Robbie looks like Barbie. <laughs> Amy Schumer you know I mean? doesn't. Margot Bob- Margot Margot Bob- <laughs> Margot Bobby, yeah. <laughs> Ball guy Robbie. <laughs> Bargo Mobby. Bargo Robbie. <laughs> Kangaroo. <laughs> Kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, okay. If she said that herself, then it's completely made up. Notice how anytime something big and uh, like that happens, she somehow brings it back to herself each time. Like after the Oscar slap, she was like, I don't feel safe to go outside. I was so we scared like, for my life. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yes, White bitch? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you are a black man. Well, Smith may be around the corner. <laughs> That would be hilarious. If we had that for an, uh, the next Oscars, like in 10 years when he's allowed back, it's like Amy Schumer's hosting and, he, and Chris Rock he's back and <laughs> that, they have to do that in 10 years. But I was going to say that he just, like he's back, he's waited 10 years for this moment, but he just goes up to, he gives it up to punch Amy Schumer. <laughs>
I could see her being weird, Barbie, but Kate McKinnon is going. infinitely better. <laughs> I don't remember where I was going with that. I struggled with her name and then just lost yogurt, all the Yogurt Gogurt. Griddle Gogurt. Griddle Gogurt. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> is this oh, a Reddit thing? My favorite director, Griddle Gogurt. <laughs> British AOC, what does that mean? Russell Brand, British AOC. Oh, oh Age of oh, Consent. Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. No. Yeah, the whole what Russell Brand say? story came up. And I just thought it was insane that... Well, he's been like a creep. I don't know why everyone's surprised. Right, right, right. No, no, no. That's... No, no, no. What Did I was surprised about was that the story... Op the story told me that the Age of Consent in Britain is 16. And I yeah. was like... And they can drink I at 18. I never knew that. That's insane. They can drink at 18, too. Yeah, that's fine. But the 16 age of consent one, look, if you're going off to fight a war, you should drink a stag. <laughs> From a schnooks. Uh, call back. Anyway, um, call me back, therapist. Um, yeah, no, I just, like, the people, well, I just thought it was crazy because, like, they, there's so many things that they lecture people about. I'm like, this whole time, your age of consent has been 16? That's disgusting. Yeah, but, but they're depressed um, and very oppressed over there. Depressed and oppressed. <laughs> Their food is so bad, they're like, oh, what a fucking child, see? <laughs> <laughs> I saw this video of Jesus. the most... <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Is that it's too dark for us? I don't know. Bane's on toast. Might as well fuck a minor. <laughs> it's like, what? They stopped when they turned 16 in Britain. <laughs> they weren't minors anymore. Yeah, the age of mining in Britain is eight. That's <laughs> how you get all this bad teeth. They make you do it with your fucking mouth, I guess. <laughs> I found a diamond. <laughs> I'm going to go propose to my 12-year-old fiancé. Wife. <laughs> Boy, man. I can't wait to tell Mr. the missus. <laughs> Look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> you can play with it too. Okay. I hate this. She said she was 12. No, she I, said she was 12. I saw something on Facebook that was like, I thought we all knew that Russell Brand was already a sex offender. Like, yeah. Just by looking yeah. at him. The Onion Dude, shared a the yeah. Onion shared a headline that was like, yeah, nation shocked it that Russell Brand. It was you that Brand. shared it. Yes. I shared it to, some, I shared it to somebody else. I'm influencing your guys' culture. <laughs> this is a topic that I don't know if, if we all care enough to talk about this. This is like four weeks too late on this. There was this whole stupid online thing that I guess Jack Septicai had uploaded a video saying he didn't like Mr. Beast. Like, he just didn't watch his videos. And everyone, including Mr. Beast, like, fucking freaked out. But so I was just curious on you guys because we've, we've talked about, like, Darman and stuff. But, like, what did you guys, what do you guys think of Mr. Beast? Do you actually watch his stuff? Like, <laughs> are you okay? Mr. Beast. <laughs> Bean. <laughs> Mr. Beans. <laughs> beats. Like beats oh, not even Bean, dude. Never mind. <laughs> the Bean one was funnier. <laughs> the British version of Mr. Beast, Mr. Beans. <laughs> Mr. Beans and Toast. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> the pilot from that plane. <laughs> he checked out of this plane. That's why and he you jumped out. <laughs> All right, guys, so this guy... <laughs> <laughs> this guy drives the most expensive-ass jet in the Does world. Do that? Have I talked about the one summer I helped out at, like, a summer camp? Yeah, no. So there was a, like, summer camp that a bunch of, like, churches in the tri-state area, like, sent the kids to in the summer. Uh, and it was fun because they had, like, sports competitions during the week and, like, shit food. You know, I mean, it's like any other camp thing or whatever. So a couple of years I had gone like just as whatever and one year I was like they asked like for help to like have a like a bunkhouse like leader you know like Daniel was he still diddle some kids and they're like dude can you please just like be a counselor or something <laughs> This was last year I'm 24 they're like hey can you help out cuz that might make the sleeping with little boys thing a little bit more Speaking of Catholicism <laughs> Yeah no kidding but so there was one year they asked if I could help and I was like oh you must really be desperate if you're asking the goofy kid for help Sure, I guess so. And I was the like, maybe one. I'll just... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he was just The five. sinful one. <laughs> he was slightly older than everybody else. <laughs> By 10 years. They anyway. were all 12 and he was 13. <laughs> <gasps> Age gap. So, uh, yeah. But I was like... I was like, 
I was like, maybe they'll put me with a group of people that like I know because the people you're looking over are only like two years younger than you. Uh, but they put me with a group of kids, none of them that anybody knew. And it was like, they were all like four years younger and they were all like the most annoying or like broken kids ever. And it was just like such a drag the whole week because things were going wrong. I thought this was going to be a lot funnier. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't mean broken like they were sad. I mean broken like they just weren't like... Missing limbs. <laughs> so, no. So the bunkhouse, like the first night I'm helping out, right? And I'm like psyching myself. I'm like, this this will be fine, right? This kid comes up to me and he's like, I get up every morning at 3.30 uh, I was like, AM? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, why? And he was like, I just do. And I was like, okay, but like... <laughs> so I can have my morning cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these camp mornings, I tell you what. <laughs> you got, so hard. You got a Newport 100 over there. <laughs> I got the motherfucking Newport. <laughs> I don't smoke menthols. <laughs> I'm only 12. Anyway, so there was that kid, and so I was just like, if you wake up, whatever, I don't care, just don't make any noise. And he's the loudest piece of shit ever, like, he, ha he's, he has to go fucking do something, smoke outside, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he practice his tap dancing. Like, so I lean he out of, in the doorway. so 5.30 a.m., and he's still- Smoker's cough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made this kid have a smoker's accent like the start. And I lean out of the, the bunk bed and I was like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I making too much? <laughs> sorry. He sounded like an asshole old man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I making too much noise for you? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Why I ought to. <laughs> uh, no, he was just like, I make a noise. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> tell him to fucking stop. Like, later that morning, even though we're all up at this point, later that morning, he was like, oh, I'm kind of stressed on what to do now. And I was like, here's an idea. Sleep. <laughs> or don't move. If you wake up, just watch something on your phone. They have phones now. It's not like, we're not, this is back in like the 80s, where we're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but like, this kid, it was so, there was that kid. We're doing, we have to do these fucking like teamwork exercises and bullshit. Uh, this is uh, that I have to help because I'm <laughs> leading. So they take us over there and there is a rock climbing wall, but it's not really a rock climbing wall. It's like one foot off the ground and it's just a wall with the, the things on it. And you're just supposed to shimmy your way across uh, teamwork, I guess. I don't fucking know. That's how you get into my old work. <laughs> So they were oh, so this one there. so this other kid gets on the rock climbing wall. He is on the rock climbing wall, which again, let me remind you, is just vertical. Like there's not there's not nothing difficult. As You're just to the horizontal rock climbing walls. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so he he's on there for like two seconds, and we all hear and we all hear a and he's like, oh, broke my hand, and we were like, <laughs> what? And he was so casual about it. He's like, oh, what? yeah, I broke. He was like, oh, yeah, I broke my hand. Oh, and fuck. <laughs> Get up in the back. That's what he said with that tone. He's like, oh, and maybe a couple fingers. And I was like, <laughs> you were on there for a second. And this is a skinny kid. I, anyway, so like. I had to wait and see if you were serious. He wasn't drinking earlier. his milk. Yeah. You said that guy just spit in his shoulder. That's what I yelled at him as he walked away. <laughs> he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like, I'm like. How? How did your hand it's break? He's like, cigarette. and he's like, oh yeah, I have that. I forget what it's called, but the disease where your bones. I didn't smoke a cigarette in five minutes. <laughs> my bones became the same cool. kid. I didn't smoke my morning cigarettes. I it was the same kid. No, 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 not the same kid. Different kid. Oh. This is a different kid. Every kid had a problem, right? So the one kid woke up at four thirty in the morning. This kid and smoked had... cigarettes. The other kid had brittle and that's bones. That's when I found out it was a camp for addicts. Yeah. Not a church camp. Yeah. That's when I realized I was in rehab. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just had leading scars him. right here. Rehab Junior. <laughs> and I realized I was wearing a gown. No wonder I couldn't help him. <laughs> but this kid has the brittle bone disease, like the actual brittle bone disease from the movie Unbreakable. <laughs> you, you know where Sam Jackson falls down the stairs and he's just in a mangled heap? Like, that's this kid. You're talking osteoporosis. Sure. You're making fun of a child with osteoporosis. Brittle bone disease. <laughs> no, I thought osteoporosis is just weak bones, not necessarily the I, breaking What is one. the difference between brittle bones and weak bones? <laughs> this kid didn't tell me that he could break his hands by touching the wall. 
So, like, his mom was mad at all of us, and I was like, I didn't, you didn't fucking tell us. And he clearly didn't hurt him, because he was like, oh, broke my hand. <laughs> he backs into the wall in an accident. Fuck! <laughs> Literally. There goes my spine. <laughs> he's, he's like, oh, I tried jacking off in the bathroom, broke my hand. Uh, anyway, where's the doctor? Broke my dick. <laughs> Sorry. She's like, I thought you were going to actually go with a funny route of this joke. You said he broke his hand, and then you said he was in the bathroom and broke his hand again. Like, you're like, I broke off. my ass. <laughs> He's in the bathroom jacking my off, and he broke his hand again. <laughs> uh, he sits down, just breaks his fucking femurs. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so that happened. And so I was just like, what the fuck? And the guy running the station was like, <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> like he was like, you're a bad leader. <laughs> it's like I can't fucking help his broken hands. They was breaking all their hands. So the rest of this week, I had this kid in my group with this giant fucking cast. Looked like I had like fucking beaten my kids up. Like I was, it just looked bad. So my well, kid hasn't slept in a smoke. Because they would ask him, they would ask him like, what happened? He was like, oh, you know, the teamwork exercise. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, ah, who's your leader? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, your leader beat you too? Yeah, that one. Like, yeah, mine burnt me. Mine only touched me. (laughs) (laughs) So that was that kid. The last kid, this poor kid, this one, this kid, it wasn't his fault, right? This kid was like. Oh, but breaking his hand was his fault. Yeah. (laughs) Loser. (laughs) God's clearly cursed him for a reason. Um,. This last kid was somehow younger than all the other kids there, but he was like built uh, and but also just like a big kid. So he was he was heavy. Right. And so we're doing the, the, the trust <laughs> fall. <Big bone. laughs> he was, we got big bones and brittle bones. <laughs> so they got married and their kids are perfect. Um, they have giant breakable bones. <laughs> So they're seven foot tall and touching the floor. Frail. <laughs> uh, so they tried basketball and, and they have a hole through their stomach where the pass came in. Um, yeah, no. So this third kid was just, he was just big. He was way too big for his age. And so it's the trust fall exercise time. And I don't know how to tell the guy that's running the station. I'm trying to word it nicely, but I'm like, hey, the kid that going up next is very big. And all the other kids in my group are, like, very small, weak children. This guy has breakable fucking bones. <laughs> He's our goddamn get him out of there. So this kid falls on the brittle bone guy. He's a pancake. I'm about to piss myself. You literally have to stop at this. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking now. <laughs> And trying not to pee while I wait. Uh, piss break. Oh, am I right? It, oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. The mood has completely been ruined now. Um, like someone so had to piss. The story is not going to be. <laughs> yeah, somebody Next had to pee. Sure. Uh, can you imagine if you got up to leave like all casual? I'm just like, is this <laughs> and instead of the piss? Guy with sweat. <laughs> What's your sweat? That's the stitch. That's the better stitch. I just put soaking water on the bench at the gym and be like, it's piss. No. Anyway, sometimes I have to say ideas out loud for me to know that they're not good. So anyway, yeah, with that story. So there was the kid that woke up at four in the morning and stalked the cabin and smoked. There was the kid that broke his fucking hand on the nothing climbing thing. And now with the trust fall... And the kid that was going up next, I was trying to word it very nicely because I was like, this kid is – basically this kid was too big for the group of kids I had. They would they would not be – it was a combo of them being too weak and him being too big. And I knew in my head, even though this guy was like, no, 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 trust falls have never failed if you do them right. They've never dude, failed for anyone. That's why trust. everyone does them. And in my gotta, head – Yeah, you just got to trust, dude. I would be the first to claim I'm not an engineer. I do not have that like mind. But I knew somehow looking at this situation that this wasn't going to work. <laughs> Um, the and, only one with an engineering degree says I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I'm not. That's why I moved. Uh, but so we set up to do this fucking trust fall, and I'm trying to position these kids in a way to like the bigger kids holding this kid's center of gravity, you know. But I'm trying to word this in a nice way, like uh, maybe ultimate shirts or something. Like I'm not saying, hey, skinny bitch, get back. Like <laughs> you know. 
But so we've all no. lined up for this, and I'm like, and I asked the guy one more time, the guy that's running the station, like, can we, can we not do this? Just say we're out of time. And he was like, no. Why? Because he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Are you calling him a fat piece of shit? <laughs> so this kid does the trust fall. Mind, he is the on well like fed a, kid. He's, he's on a platform <laughs> above us. Falling into our open arms. This isn't like on the ground falling backwards, right? Like that I wasn't going to be worried about. I should have maybe described this. This The kids are standing on a platform at like shoulder height and they're falling into our arms. That's the situation. Is this a cheerleading camp you were at? <laughs> <laughs> Go play! All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why we had the, <laughs> the osteoporosis cheerleader. <laughs> Oh, Tiffany, no! In the big bone chiller. Oh, pom-poms are too heavy. <laughs> she has an eating disorder. Or osteoporosis, we're not sure. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that was the situation. So this kid does the fall for the trust fall, and uh, the weak kid's arms, like, break apart. Not well, physically. The <laughs> <laughs> they break, and so, the, well, so this kid, it would actually would have been better if we just straight dropped him on the ground, and he just fell, like, four feet. That would have been better than what happened because what happened was the people at center of gravity caught him and the people at the head somehow fumbled because he jumped weird. So basically he rolled onto his head. Like he <laughs> jumped basically on top of his fucking head is wait, what wait, happened. Wait, wait. Could have just fucking broke his neck. <laughs> he didn't, thank God. Because he wasn't the brittle bones. Yeah, he was. if it was the brittle bones guy, that would have been the end. That would have been lights out uh, for old Daniel. <laughs> um... But, uh, so this kid was, I was like, oh shit. And, um, so he got up and he was like, oh, I'm okay. And we're like, you should go to the nurse anyway. And he was like, what should I say I happened? I smell toast. <laughs> <laughs> and we were like, what, sh-? he was like, what should I say happened? And I was like, what just I say you fell. <clears throat> so he goes to the doctor. <laughs> that was your advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he did. He, there was a trust. And a fall, okay? <laughs> so he comes back, and he got a concussion from that. He got a concussion and was out of all the activities the rest of the week because he had a fucking the concussion from the trust fall. he wasn't supposed to trust y'all, and he did. <laughs> yeah, so he learned he early on. Trust. He learned early on in his formative years. I got to teach that kid to never trust anyone. <laughs> He's probably uh, got issues now. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Aside from the brain issues, he probably has trust and issues. now he has the eating disorder instead. Right. Now I have... <laughs> <laughs> so it all worked out best in the end. Um, yeah. Except for him. <laughs> so that He's was my dead. troop for the camp, and that's how bad it went. <laughs> uh, I remember we used to play this game where, like, it would always be, like, the teenage guys, they would put themselves on, like, a tarp, and they would put a bunch of, like, water and Dawn dish soap, and the kids would just, like, try to... <laughs> try to <laughs> what? <laughs> get huh? their side try first. to get them off? What? <laughs> <laughs> get him to their side first. So it would be, like, a tug of war, but they would be slow. Yeah, they're tugging fight. him all right. <laughs> <laughs> tugging something. There was a war of tugging, I tell you what. <laughs> We had a game. Like war, more like we lathered up the spies in dog dish soap. What are you talking about? We like to play this game at church camp where the teen boys <laughs> strip off their clothes, get all wet, and we pull them get back all oily. and forth. I think it was actually a form of like steal the bacon where like everybody was supposed to run at one time and grab the steal person. Steal the what? I do, I do not know what steal the bacon is. I don't know what that is. Are you kidding? <laughs> no. It's when you steal a police officer. No. Um. <laughs> Uh, That's good. You would put something in the middle, and then you would like go, go, and both sides would go, and whoever grabbed it first and got it back to their side won. That's just called being poor. No, Stop. because it's only one. It's one on one. <laughs> well, it is. Knock it off, you. <laughs> <laughs> and we played this roller sound hockey like a game. too. Did you play roller hockey? Play what? <laughs> You're not play saying what? real things. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Ruler hockey? Yeah, this time everybody that sounds plays. miserable. And you you play on your knees <laughs> with a ping pong ball and a ruler. That's called being poor. That's Yeah, that's like a poor activity. No. <laughs> She's describing being a fucking British orphan. She's like, you know that game where someone puts shit in the middle and you all go for it at once, right? And then you all go at once because it's not fair, right? And then for lunch, you drink broth. <laughs> We didn't have lunch. <laughs> and then for dinner, we eat one of, th- of us. <laughs> we sent us home at noon. 
<laughs> we nibbled bounds. We need the gristle. <laughs> what? This sounds and terrible. And then we would have, at the end, there'd be a water gun fight in the local fire department. There'd be a gun fight! As long as there weren't any... Are you fucking done? <laughs> I'm sorry. As long as there weren't any, like, local fires, the fire department would come out and spray all the kids with the fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> Just spray the skin off their skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> their scalp shoots off! <laughs> Man, eating rocks as a kid in that game called Eat Rocks has really damaged your brain. No, we used to eat dirt. <laughs> Do you eat dirt? My favorite the pastime. game was called Eating. Dirt Eat. <laughs> this was the, the fun new game, Sleep for Dinner. <laughs> this was the rich church, too. So, like, I was the poorest, probably one of the poorest kids there. I was the rich church. <laughs> Let's play on our knees with rulers and a ping pong. No, like, that was the local mega church. <laughs> that was the serious. <laughs> That was the rich. That was the the poor church game yeah. was guess which kid has leprosy. Okay. All of them. Okay. You went to SAV. Do you know the church that looks like a big office building in Edwardsville? So it's not a church, it's a it's building. Like a no, but it looks it looks like an office building. It was a business. Yeah, I did I worked there for like eight hours a day. We weren't even there on Sundays. I think it might have been Daniel's rehab he was working at. <laughs> She has cats to feed, but she was like, eh, it's past that time anyway. I was like, dude, feed your cats. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're fine. No, they get fed three times a day. They're fine. They're fine. They eat, they eat my bread if they don't eat fast enough. Yeah, because they're starving. No, because they're assholes. Because <laughs> you're not giving them food. They're fat asses. I promise. I will feed them and they will immediately ask me to feed them Because of all the again. bread they eat. Because you're not feeding them so cat food. I like playing the game with rulers and ping pong bullshit. balls with my cats. <laughs> now I'm leaving. <laughs> Did I tell you about my that substitute band teacher that talked to us about how so he froze a cat in the freezer? <laughs> Intentionally frozen or like the cat hopped up in there and... No, I think that he was up. saying like the watcher person... <laughs> Shut the cat in the freezer. Okay, so like accidentally, yes. <laughs> no, not on accident. I think he like did it to shut the How cat do you up. You accidentally put a cat in a freezer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a not my ice tray. Say you're Whoops. A <laughs> no, like the cat got in and he accidentally How? shut it. How? How? Your cats get everywhere they're not supposed to. Clearly, you've never not had a cat. freezer. <laughs> what do you mean? Mine try to get in the oven while it's on. How does that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll open the oven and I'll start moving stuff around, and they'll come up and they'll be like, "Ooh!" and like shove their face in. And I'm like, "Get the fuck we'll out!" Close the Listen. oven. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying to get shit out of the oven. I don't like the way down. you're talking to me right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sick of you two. <laughs> so it is us. It's not just Juliana. <laughs> Good to know. Gaslighting. This is gaslighting. Right here. More like ass lighting. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I think I'm uh, leaving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Patron note from Sylvan Fiber or Low. You guys should make a video on how to make a flashlight. Oh, man. <laughs> Starting <All> off right. <laughs> strong. <laughs> Nick's like, I'm listening. <laughs> I think it'll be useful for everyone. Seriously, though, I love the podcast and was wondering, what are your favorite types of music or dishes to eat? If it's the dish one, we all know what's Daniel's. Have a nice day, and I hope a priest sprays holy water on Lively. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> what's your favorite types of music or dish to eat? Um, dish to eat, um, I like making pancakes. <laughs> that's that's my thing. There's a lot of stuff I like to eat that I just can't eat. Um like if I just if I was just free, I'd eat pizza because you just it's it's hard to beat pizza. But um, and types of music um, I like um, like older like jazz or like um, electro um, like what's it called um, like electric swing um, weird stuff. Like I basically have one playlist, and if I'm just like like wherever I am, if I hear a song like in a like in a music store or and whatever, like I just, my phone recognizes it and like I add it to a playlist and that's basically the one playlist I have. I really like my music, um, but it's, 
It's definitely not like I have no idea. I could not name an Olivia Rodrigo or Taylor Swift song, um, and I've got nothing against them necessarily. I just I don't I don't listen to like what's big out. I guess. No, you're good. You're good. <clears throat> uh, dish wise, is it like things I eat normally, or like your your favorites that you just if... favorite dish to eat? So it sounds like just favorite, favorite dish food to, to eat. eat. Yeah. Okay. Um. Do you, yeah, like you said, pizza's a go to. It's so simple yeah. to eat. Do you it's have a just... favorite Chicago pizza place? Uh, there's a place called Connie's. That's oh, uh... you, you t- mentioned that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's downtown. Oh, favorite favorite music. Uh, I like a lot of electronic, as you can tell by <laughs> that. And then uh, I don't know. I did a complete 180, and I really like like jazz and bossa nova and stuff like that. I feel like that's just very. I don't know, not nostalgic. Maybe it is nostalgic. I remember growing up and like going to JC Penny or like those old like Carson's stores. You just hear that on the radio and people just are like, Oh that's Penny. A... Isn't that a clothes store? Yeah, but you'd hear it like just playing in the the old like department store music. I used I'd to be buy like, my is... records at the clothes store. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I like Macy's for mine. <laughs> I don't know, I just like that like nineties ambiance of like just goofy little like jazz music. I think I always really like that. Like, I don't want to sound like an old man, but it makes me sad that the malls are just completely empty now. Like, I feel like they would come back if it wasn't already too late because I feel like people want to go with their friends and hang out someplace like that that's inside. You know what I mean? Like, that used to that used to be the place to hang out, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a mall that's like... Okay, so I guess it's like on the area too, but we have one called River Oaks, and that one used to be like a very popular mall in like the 90s and 80s. And now it's just, it's gone downhill, as you can mm-hmm. tell. A lot of the stores aren't like known stores anymore. It's like yeah, the shoes store. It's like that's not a real business. <laughs> I that's back, money laundering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, it was like what it was like Gap and Aeropostale and Hollister and American Eagle and all those stores with like a naked uh, like <laughs> mannequin out dude, in front. Yeah, at the front. Yeah, smelled like ass. <laughs> like the, the perfume they were using. Hollister had like trees and fucking jungle noises and shit and like yeah and it was completely dark in there that you couldn't see anything you had to pull out a flashlight to go shopping until you realized the employee had their hand in your pants you were like <laughs> like you need size small boxers yeah but get your fucking hands out of there dude stop it <laughs> get your so hand like, out of my crack so that story is stop <laughs> is it clean at least so that that mall that the river oaks mall it, it was I remember as a kid, it used to be popular. Now when you go, like, it still has business, but it's not like before. But then we have another mall called South Lake, and that one's crowded 24-7 any day oh. of the year. It's it's fine. Like, that nice. that place is doing well. Yeah. So I guess it really just depends on the area. But that one even has, like, known stores, and it's still yeah. FYE. I mean, like, Spencer's Hot Topic, all that it's, junk. Yeah, it sounds crazy to say I feel like I would really enjoy a mall right now, like, in, in, my, in my 20s. <laughs> I don't Let's know. Let's go, dude. <laughs> I'll fucking go to a mall. We already went to the fucking putt putt thing that was made for kids. <laughs> yeah, so. Ziggy's Funland. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that was quick. The I was fuck? just there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was funny. I was watching your story crying as I was curled up on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I got recognized. I wish I had friends. I told a 15 year old to fuck off. <laughs> In a non-inappropriate way. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget that dude was just there on his phone recording you. Can I, I do not remember you? the phone. I just remember him looking through <laughs> yeah, a tree. He's just there like... <laughs> so bizarre. I've hey, never kid, seen get that. over here. <laughs> that it's is not what I did. It's film but... people. <laughs> I, oh, 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 okay. I don't think I mentioned this before. Maybe I did. Um, but so I was at the Japanese festival... It's the only place, that, I mean, I usually do most things by myself. I don't have a lot of friends. But so we went to the Japanese festival, which is a really fun thing to go to around here. And I went with some friends from work. We had like a group. And on the way out of the sumo wrestling, someone stopped me. And they were like, you're from TikTok. They didn't even ask. They were just like, you're from, you're from TikTok and like Snapchat and stuff. And I was like, holy shit. And it was in front of people. And I was like... This couldn't be at a better time. <laughs> but she was like, can I have a picture? And so I was like, yeah, sure. Five wow. dollars. <laughs> Fork it over. So, we, yeah, we got a picture and, like, that was really wholesome. But that, nice. So that was cool. And then that same day, walking back to my car, 
somebody walking their dog recognized me there and but they my grandfather built <laughs> It was for the arch, arch video. <laughs> well, well, at first I was kind of like I, I, I was kind of scared because it was one of those moments where I would have done the same thing. Where it's like you see someone and you're like, you blurt out the thing you remember them from without saying who their name first, you know. So he was like Arch, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like Grandpa. Like I didn't know if it was like one of these YouTube people coming back to get me. <laughs> Their guns, my grandfather. <laughs> but yeah, no, he was like, "Oh, you! I've seen your videos on YouTube. They're really funny." And I was like, "Oh, thanks, man." And I thought that was really nice. So twice yeah, in one day, great. and then at Schnooks, and then maybe in this theater. I don't know. Like, I feel bad if Hi. that was. <laughs> Hi. I met that guy in the theater. He did not want to talk to me. <laughs> I turned to him after that guy was getting <laughs> tortured on screen, and I said, "That's not fair." Because it's not there that he's dying. (laughs) Back to patron notes. Uh, New notation from Turntable Troglodyte. Oh, dear God, this is long. Schizo posers and reviews think they're Buster Keaton with all their romps of, I giggled in public at this podcast, and now Walmart customers think I drown frogs. (laughs) I will eat a block of LSD like Sid Barrett and swell my brain to the American dad alien size. So that only an illegal amount of Thorazine can quell my brain tissue. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe in the jazz, everyone. The caps have calmed. Oceans rise. Empires fall. My dad thinks I'm a loser. And then he pelts me with footballs. You know who else played football, Dad? Jerry Sandusky. <laughs> 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 yeah, Gummer, Point Sunken, Empire Strikes Back, Episode 6. <laughs> This was supposed to be therapeutic, but once again, my fingers went out like a Yankee candle in a closet. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, yo, next Spotify <laughs> poll. Who's got the hottest dad on the show? Dylan Tate doesn't count because he didn't animate my father leaving for milk. Fuck Dylan Tate. I love that guy so much. <laughs> I can't wait till next year when he posts another video on Vidly. <laughs> Jim Jones was a naughty, naughty man. I would stomp, okay, his aviators with my justice spoon. <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> Howdy duty time versus Sven Gulli and oil twerk off. Oh, Nick would eat the marbles. This is poetry right here. Mussolini is Giuliana's great great god uncle, and Nick's dad is the hottest in the poll. Fuck Spongle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you for, for the money. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass. T- <clears throat> Big ass tight <laughs> podcast <a> note. <laughs> yeah. Uh, podcast note. Oh, sorry. I'm getting a little lightheaded. I don't know what that's you're about. Good, you're good. When you have a drunkie in the corner, what do you get? And then he sent a YouTube link. Okay. It's called Monkey Screams, Spins, and Disappears. Monkey and me. <laughs> that is indeed what happens when you have a drunkie in the corner. Have a good day and hope all your bones shatter and get splinters in your toes. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks. <laughs> uh, next note from Metal Man's 420. My note is I am Ganja Man. Wait. My note is I am Ganja Man, me smile, lots of weed, me tell you story, insert one coin Ganja Man, tell you about heartbreak, how girl cheat on Ganja Man, think he won't find out, Ganja, but he did and he gets very sad. So Ganja Man just smile weed and he say, no, no Nero more. <laughs> that made me sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, what the man. fuck? <laughs> Next note from Rodney. Okay, hear me out just for a moment. Listen, we should send them old old bastards to the moon with some landfill junk or something. I don't know. I don't want them on my lawn and shit. They always be acting racist on my lawn. They're scaring the ethnic neighbors. <laughs> like not cool, dude. They were gonna bring some real cuisine, but now they got they're too scared to step outside. Gam Gam, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to take you to the uh, farm out back. I promise it, in your old person heaven, there is segregation. Gunshot, <laughs> <person> goodbye. <laughs> Gunshot, goodbye, Gam Gam. That's my note. I'm not dead. Just busy with cringe reality. 
Oh <sighs> my god. <laughs> well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's all the notes we got. <laughs> so, if you want to submit a note, pay us money and we'll. Yes, it. <laughs> if you would like to make us say whatever you want, um, that is a fifteen dollar tier patron. Oh, thing. also, you're on Cameo. Push it. Oh, push whatever. it. You've not, dude. No one they've, knows this. They've demonetized my Instagram. I have a cameo. If you'd a like re- me yes, to do, yes. if you'd like me to do one of the stupid impressions that I do that I have a lot of fun doing, send me a cameo or something. I've only had two people ask me for one. Well, I mean, they paid me for one. Uh, one guy reviewed me five stars. The other guy gave me no review. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it was graphic too. I mean, it was like, <laughs> it was like. A whole skit about cum with Venom. It was hilarious. Oh, but, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> these headphones, I forgot why I don't wear these. Yeah, they make my head spin. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good. So you've got one week to sign up for the podcast, any tier uh, for the annual um, patron tier, and uh, you'll be put in the drawing for the xbox that we're giving away mm, somebody sign the fuck up i swear get to it i see you have the money i see it give it to me <laughs> give <laughs> okay um that's all i have nick you have anything else you want to add that's it i'll see you next week <laughs> okay 